scheduling board in the main menu and the production control, the manufacturing Kanban schedule board. When you open the Kanban schedule board for the first time on a workstation, the system is going to prompt you for, for a work cell. You select the work cell that you want to schedule. The Kanban scheduling board has multiple areas that shows you the information about the actual schedule. The main area is the scheduling area which shows the, the different scheduling periods of a work cell. These periods can be set up to be days or weeks. This setup is done in the production flow model. You can select how many periods you want to display for a schedule of a, of a Kanban work cell. The second area of the Kanban scheduling board is called the Kanban quantity overview. The Kanban quantity overview shows all Kanban rules related to the selected work cell. Within the Kanban rules, it shows all active jobs of a specific Kanban rule. The shapes of the Kanban symbols on the Kanban quantity overview represent the status of the different Kanban jobs. That can be non-planned with a dotted line, planned with a solid line, prepared with a check mark, in progress, completed, and finally handing unit received once the Kanban has arrived at its final destination. Within the Kanban rule on the Kanban quantity overview, the jobs are sorted by status. You can select any Kanban job and right click to see the details of the jo specific job. It also allows you to open related forms like open the Kanban details form which shows all details of a specific Kanban. To plan jobs on the Kanban scheduling board, the planner can filter the jobs of the Kanban quantity overview to unplanned jobs by using the tab Unplanned. This tab shows only unplanned jobs, only jobs that the planner has to take action on. Now the planner selects one or multiple jobs on the board and moves them to the period where he wants to plan them. He can also use the mouse to change the sequence of jobs within the plan. He can also move jobs from one period to another. Whenever a period is updated, it automatically recalculates the consumed co capacity against the available capacity of that specific period. The available capacity is calculated and displayed based on the drumbeat the, or the throughput of the actual day or week and the calendar settings with the related working time. The planner is actually allowed to overload a specific period, which will show the period in an alert status. The color of the Kanban symbols in the Kanban chattering board are taken from the color code of the Lean Chattering Groups 
that an item is allocated to. The size of a Kanban symbol within the scheduling is proportional to the capacity con consumption within the period. This is dependent on the actual quantity of the Kanban job, but also dependent on the throughput ratio that has been set up. So a job of a similar quantity for a different product might have a different capacity consumption. Instead of using the mouse, the planner can also use the move functions in the action pane. After selecting one or multiple jobs in a specific period, you can select to move all of them to the next period. End or alternatively to the start of a following period. You can also use the functionality to update to the previous period. Within a period, jobs can be moved in sequence with the forward and backward button. Again, this can be done with a single or multi-select. Unplanning jobs can be done by dragging the selected jobs back to the unplanned area, or by single or multi-selecting jobs and using the revert status function. This is especially useful for bulk unplanning. In the action pane, the Kanban quantity overview has his own set of functions. When, you s when selecting jobs in the Kanban quantity overview, single or multi-select, the functions for the Kanban quantity overview get actionable. You can either create dependent Kanbans, you can plan Kanbans with the auto planning functionality, you can cancel Kanbans which unplans the Kanban, revert the status, check the packing tree supply status or use alternative Kanban rules. The button group production refers to the scheduling area. When jobs are selected in the scheduling area, the buttons in the production group get active. Again, you can create event Kanbans, you can revert the job status, plan the packing tree, or check the packing tree supply status. In the view tab, of the action pane, you find a refresh button. You also can change the parameters of the view. You're allowed to change to a different work cell. You can adjust the number of periods displayed. Finally, you can set up an automatic refresh cycle that causes the Kanban scheduling board to refresh automatically in a specific period. In Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012, the planner gets a new instrument for scheduling Kanbans. The Kanban scheduling board is an effective visual instrument that is easy to use and provides 
a high visibility and transparency of the schedule.